Hey guys, it's Sean again from Platinum Window Tinting, and today I'm going to show you how to tint the doors, quarter glass, and rear window on a 2015 S550 Mercedes. First off, let's consider that this is a very expensive car. It's a very nice car, and the customer is most likely very picky. Um, when we're doing this car, you want to take your time. You want to make sure everything is done correctly. Uh, the windows are already prepped on this car, so all we're going to do is show you how to cut, shift, and install the film properly with as little contamination as possible. So let's get started with the front door here. Now, There's a specific method I use for Mercedes S550 to make sure the job comes out just that much better because these customers are that much pickier. Now let's start by laying out the rough material on this front door. Now with these S550 front doors, I don't shift the film at all. The first thing I do is lay it on the window, squeegee it out to mount it on the glass. I cut the front, the back, and I also cut the bottom to make sure that all the cuts are contoured to the gaskets of the car. Now that all the sides are cut, I do have extra material on the top which I'm going to use for the quarter glass. So let's cut this off and put that to the side. Now that we have all the excess material cut off, we're going to roll the window down to cut the top edge. Be careful and make sure that the tin isn't stuck to the top of the, uh, the chrome molding up here because if it is and you roll the glass down, it'll stick to it and it'll shift the film which will mess up the whole installation. So just slightly run your finger and separate that before you roll the window down. And of course, before we cut the top edge, I like to squeegee out the top and just make sure it's nicely mounted against the top edge. Now let's make sure that our blade is fresh and ready to cut. And I like to start from the front and bring it to the back when I'm cutting the top edge. Always remember to rip the film away from the glass not into it because you can rip into the part that you want to put on the window. Now that we have the film all rough cut out to match all the edges, the top, the bottom, the front, and the back, we're going to round out the corners here. Now, I strongly advise you to be extremely careful on this glass when you're cutting on the, on the glass. Always make sure you have a fresh blade and always check your pressure. Don't push too hard when cutting the corners on this, on this glass. It is double pane glass, it is Mercedes glass, and it's very soft, and it's very expensive to replace. So take extreme caution. All right, now that we've got the corners rounded out very nicely, this is the method that I'm going to use to shrink the fingers in the film in this glass. I roll the window back up completely, spray the window with soapy water as well as the film, and we're going to lay it back on the glass as we cut it, match up the edges, and I'm going to leave about a half inch gap on the bottom. Now this doesn't matter because the film is already cut to the exact size of the window. So now that we have this gap on the bottom, we don't have to worry about getting too close to this bottom gasket with the heat when we're shrinking it. And you still get the contour of the glass when we're shrinking this piece of tin. So let's mount this down. Or we start from the top, bring it down the sides. You can see we have a finger right here that has to be shrunk. All right, so now let's shrink these fingers. So now we're gonna pull the film off of the glass and roll the window back down to a comfortable installation depth. 
you want to be able to have the, uh, the window down far enough so that this corner mold right here on the inside isn't, isn't too much covering the window so we don't have to fight with that when we're putting the film behind that onto the glass. So I'd say a good two, two and a half inches down with this Mercedes because the, uh, the felt gasket on the top is, itself is about an inch and a half. So let's mount this film on to the glass and prepare it for installation. Now remember these windows are already prepped. I already spray razor bladed them and wiped them down with a towel to remove any debris. And of course we're still going to spray and squeegee before we install to remove any other dust. Now a trick that I like to do with these Mercedes, the S class specifically, is this is the double pane glass. So there's two pieces of glass sitting together like this. In between the two pieces of glass is always a lot of felt. So when you're squeegeeing the inside and you use a, the water bottle to spray the inside of the glass, it's going to make that felt drip down and chances are you're going to have a lot of felt in the top edge of your window tent when you install it. So a trick I like to do is after I spray and mount down this piece of film, like I'm doing right now, I like to take my fingers, wipe them clean, and just run them over that top edge of the glass, and you will get a lot of felt on your finger. Doing it a couple times won't hurt. Just try not to hit the felt gasket as you're doing that, because if you do hit it, you will make felt fall onto the glass as well. All right, now as always, after the window's prepped and you have the film cut, the, we do the final prep before installation, which is spraying, squeegeeing, and then respraying before we apply the film. So let's go ahead and do that. Now when we use the squeegee, um, if you're not comfortable with window tinting yet and you're just learning, I don't recommend that you use a blue match with a handle. I recommend that you use the yellow turbo squeegee. It's a lot softer, it's a lot more forgiving, and it's a lot easier to use if you haven't used an longer handle before. Um, when we're squeegeeing the water off of this and reducing contamination, we want to be as careful as we can to not hit the top felt gasket again. Because if we're going along the top and, we hit, and we're rubbing this squeegee against its felt gasket, the felt is just going to fall everywhere and you're going to have a mess when you install on this car. So just be extremely careful to only go to the top edge of the window film. I'm sorry, the top edge of the window when squeegeeing the water off. And try to hit as little felt as you can, if possible none. Now that we have the contaminated water squeegeed off, we're going to spray water down the back side, which is where we push all the dirt. And we're just going to give the window a nice little coat. All right, now placing the window on the inside of this car, I like to place the back upper corner in first. And just allow that to slide in nice and smooth. And then I kind of scrunch up the middle without creasing it, of course, to allow the front corner to go in without touching any felt gaskets. Now keep in mind, I didn't show you this, guys. I left about three inches of the clear release still here, so that's why this is able to lay on the door panel. They're still clear, and the adhesive isn't exposed. Now that the film's in position, we're going to spray the outside of the film with soapy water to allow the squeegee to easily glide along. When squeegeeing out the window, I like to start from the middle while I'm holding my thumb in one portion of the window tent to keep it in place as I mount it down. Make sure that that gap on the top is just how you want it. And what I like to do is I like to use my Bondo card instead of using the Easy Reach to run down these, the sides because this card seems to scratch the tint a lot easier than this would. 
This card is a lot softer, a lot more flexible, but you can still get along the whole side without leaving a scratch line down the side of the film. So let's start from the top. While holding the film, as you can see up here, I'm holding a thumb on the film because it can still slide around. And we're going to do the same with the front. Now, once we have the sides mounted down and the whole window squeegeed out, we're going to take that Bondo card wrapped in the interior towel along with the heat gun and we're going to push the water out as we heat the inside. Once you check the top edge and the sides from the outside and you heat it out any, uh, any blemishes that you might have on the top with the pink card, then you can go on and roll the window up. Now with this car, you spray water, pushing any debris that might be under, the, under that clear down. And then I'd like to take the easy reach, the gold card here, and spray the water down into that gasket. Now many people comment on my videos and say that you're going to damage the electronics by spraying the water into the door panel. They're wrong. Um, right now the water is dripping out of the bottom of the door panel, exactly where the rain water comes out. The water that goes on the outside here is the same area that the water from the inside goes to. It doesn't touch any electrical components. So now we're going to peel away at the clear at the same time spraying water on the film adhesive side. Now with this car, what we're going to do is we're going to take the easy reach, pull the film away, and open up the gasket, allowing the film to easily fall into place. As you can see, as I'm squeegeeing, I have the easy reach gold here, pulling the gasket away, allowing the water to easily flow into the door panel and outside of the car. Now once we squeegee it out the middle of the film, I'm going to use the easy reach platinum, easy reach gold, I'm sorry, and I'm going to very lightly squeegee out the front and the rear corner, trying not to press too hard because if you press too hard with this, it will scratch the tin as I said before. All right, now the final step here with this is I'm going to take the heat gun very lightly with the Bondo card. I use this for all interior shrinking because it is soft and it will not scratch the tint. Um, when heating out these fingers on the inside, there is no fingers, but when heating the inside, be extremely careful with the door panel. It's good that the door panel is wet because it will protect it from burning. All right, now this door is complete. I'm gonna very lightly wipe down everything. Wipe down the door panel, make sure there's no water residue. Now when we're looking for blemishes on the outside, these are the areas that we're gonna to wanna to look. These, this part right here, where we folded up the clear, when, well, when we peeled off the clear release, are prone to blemishes because of the film folding a little bit. All you have to do is take a little heat with the pink card, which is the little chiseler, and we'll go on the inside and just work those up a little bit after we heat them, and that'll take care of them completely. All right, now that the front window's done, we're gonna do the back door. Now to make cutting the bottom edge easier, we're gonna mount it down just like that, and then cut the bottom edge. Now we can shift the film back a quarter of an inch, leaving the bottom edge level with the bottom gasket, and then mounting down and cutting the back. And now we can cut the top edge. We 
can now round the edges out just like we did on the front door. Remembering not to press too hard and having a fresh blade. And now next, we're going to roll the window up again. And we're going to shrink the fingers just like we did on the front door. Now that the fingers are shrunk, we can roll the window back down a little bit and mount the film ready for installation. Remember the tip that I told you, take your finger and run across that top gap to clear any felt out. When I slide my razor out, I like to wipe the edge on my hand to remove any debris that might be on the razor. Be extremely careful. Now with the back window, I like to put the front edge in first, just like I did with the back edge on the front door. Sliding in while I'm not touching any felt gaskets. And then we'll go along the sides and push out the top with heat with the towel down, removing any debris and using the easy reach to allow the debris to fall out of the door. And then we'll grab the clear release. as we remove. Pull the bottom gasket away to allow the film to fall into place. And now we can, be can begin squeegeeing as we keep the gasket away. run down the sides with the easy reach to remove all the water from the sides and then finally we'll go over the bottom with heat and the bondo card again just to finalize this window okay now let's get started on the quarter glass we got the back door and the front door done already and the other side is already done before I even did this video. After the quarter glass, we'll move on to the back window. To do this quarter glass, this quarter glass has a um, dot matrix around the whole entire thing. And of course, the bottom edge is just a gasket. You can see the dot matrix around the window. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut right to the edge of this dot matrix around the whole edge and around the back side. And we're going to cut the bottom straight. All right, so let's lay the film out on this quarter glass and get it cut and installed. We have a scrap piece of material that we use from the front door or the, or the back door. I'm not sure, um, but both windows had enough material for the quarter glasses. I'm just going to mount this down. And the first cut that I make is always the bottom. I push it down on the bottom, make sure it's not stuck on anything, and use the same cutting method that I taught you guys in all my videos. Uh, before I even pull the razor out, I slide it into place, push out the blade, and follow the gasket. 
Now with this, these quarter glasses, again, remember, push very lightly and make sure you have a fresh blade. We're just going to follow the outside edge of the dot matrix. And we're going to switch our cutting angle here at the bottom so we don't have to press too hard to cut this bottom edge. And then we're going to cut this back edge. I'm sorry if I'm blocking it, but it's kind of hard to get a good angle to see this dot matrix. Of course, I like to mount it on the window next to the quarter glass. It gives you an easy place to peel the film. Squeegee. And then respray this quarter glass. Remember when peeling the quarter glass off of the glass, the quarter glass film, try to touch as little adhesive as possible. Now this is tricky because you have this big piece of plastic here. So I like to try to put the back corner in first without touching any plastic, allowing that front corner to slide in, and then just maneuvering it into place. Now we can take our easy reach pull away this bottom gasket and slide the film down into there a little bit so the film is covering all dot matrix and lines so there's no light gaps. Now once the film is in the correct position, spray it, spray it down and squeegee it out. And that's it for the quarter glass. Of course, wipe the window down very lightly, especially that you just installed the film so that it doesn't move around. All right, now, as most of you guys know, um, the first step to doing the back window is to apply a dryer sheet. That's the most common method, a dryer sheet. So let's soak this up and get the back window ready to be strong.